Hi guys, so today I'll be making a video for the hockey franchise community, especially for the ones who just got into the game and are um, wanting some tips and tricks on how to get started and the best way possible to uh, grind the game. So my first tip is going to be to save re resources. So uh, a lot of people have been saying this, but the most important thing before getting to level 100, which is legend, is going to be to save resources. As we can see above, I have 1400 uh, RP, which is a currency in the game. And also there's cash and training. Those are the three main resources that you have to um, save up in the first 100 levels because you'll need a lot of them when you get to a uh, legend. So basically, it will be uh, important to not waste these resources on, um, well, let's say training. It will be you. Uh, it will not be useful to waste them to train your players because you'll be replacing them very quickly as you level up. The only ones I've trained are like this one. I've only put uh, one training a day to complete. Um, the objective right here but I'll get to that on another point and uh, let's say cash cash you can use them to buy uh, player packs but don't use it because once you get to level to legend you have to use a lot of them so uh, let's save I completed the first series and uh, that wasn't a good idea on my part but I'll, I'll get to that uh, on a later um, tip so tip number one, save your resources. Tip number two will be to save your player packs. These are the packs that you get when you complete uh, a season. You get maybe one or two every season you complete. And at the beginning, I used to uh, open them, but it's, uh, it's smarter to keep them until you get to... Um, level 95 which is a key point because you'll unlock every you have unlocked every series and so you'll only get players from uh the 20 the series 20 because when you level up the packs that you get match the level you're currently at so my level is 13 and all of the packs i've earned or level 13 and once i get to 14 they'll upgrade to 14 and then 15 all the way to 20 so it'll be important to uh only open them at level 95 um because that's when you'll unlock series 20 but you'll only need to save up a certain amount of packs it's suggested to keep uh enough uh to complete the series 19 and 20 so here you can see that uh you'll have to save up 121 packs to complete the two last series so once you have those packs saved up, you can start opening the other packs you get. Because once you complete series 20, uh, once you open a pack, it will be random from series 1 to 20. So you want to make sure to, be to get the best players possible. So once you get to series 19, you open 60 of your um, packs that you've uh, saved up. And once you, once you get to 20... You open, you, you open, my bad, you open um, the remaining packs you have saved up so you can get, uh, you can make sure that you get every player from that series and not low players from the early series. Okay, so tip number three will be also regarding packs. As you can see, I've only bought about 10, 15 of each series. And the main reason is that once you've bought 15 10 or 15 of them you can you can no longer upgrade your team let's say i open one i'll only get players that have similar level to these ones let's say th this one or this one they won't be better so i won't really upgrade my team so it'll only be wasting my resources if i can't upgrade my team so let's say that's that are the last ones that i bought so you can see these ones are all on active roster. This one didn't. So that's when you know 
you have to stop buying them because you you're opening packs for players that you're not even going to use and that are the ones that i had before and everything so tip number three only buy a couple of packs for me cheeries and uh the main reason i bought uh all the 60 at first is because i didn't know what to do i didn't have a video like the one i'm doing right now to tell me what's the best thing to do and also i i wanted the uh, iron egg blood because i thought level 60 that's pretty good but now i'm series uh 13 and i'm getting players that are 80 90 i here you can see the levels of the first cards i had so i i saw 60 and i was like whoa i'll i'll use that card for long but it didn't i i didn't uh, a month later i wasn't using him anymore so don't buy every player from each series you'll waste resources and you'll need like cash you'll need a lot of it when you get to legend okay so tip number four is going to be to do your daily objectives every single day so you can see right here what are the um, objectives they're the same every day and they're very very easy apply one equipment you gotta go do it go to your team equipment and apply any equipment to one player that's all um second one is play an exhibition game you gotta go to games exhibition and play now i'm out of uh, exhibition game i already played all my games so you can play it or you can just swipe to the left and it'll simulate the game you don't even have to wait for the game to end assign a bonus again go to team bonuses and apply a bonus to your team next one is start a season here i i gotta wait 10 hours and a half until my season is done but i've started it this morning so that's why i completed it it's already completed and train a player again to team training you select one player and then you upgrade it so that's that's the reason why my players are not upgraded and only like cornoye he's upgraded because and for the last 20 days i spent my upgrades on him and the main reason you want to do your objectives every day is because you get one legend coin every day so a legend coin is like the rarest currency in the game and it's very important to buy uh players and once you get to le the legend to get the legend players that are needed for your ultimates let's say here it costs 10 legends legend coins to get a player so let's say you do your daily objectives for 10 days you'll be able to buy one player so you see why it's hard to get the these legends these um limited edition players because it takes 10 days for one so it if only you do your objectives tip number five is going to be to save your synergy packs Synergy packs are packs that you get from playing pro games, and once you get, uh, once you beat the team, you get uh, once you beat the three teams from each like group, you get three um, synergy packs. So I save them some of I saved some of them already. There they are. You just gotta save these packs, and the reason is that you get you only get one hundred and fifty. Uh, pro games and once you're done with it you there is only one way left to um, buy the synergies that you need is through um, the the store right here and you got to spend cash to, to get them so each team has 10 synergies so that's that means uh 31 teams plus the uh how was, what's it called the world so you gotta get 32 teams in total times 10 that's 320 and you only get 150 through um, these pro games so you gotta buy the ones that are left but once you get let's say now i'm at synergy three and once i get to synergy four the cost is going to be higher so you gotta you gotta buy the ones that are cheapest first and then once you've bought all the cheapest you cannot open your you cannot open your synergy packs because uh, 
you'll get you'll get the ones that are uh, that have the the higher cost. So you gotta buy one hundred and seventy, and then you can buy you can get the one hundred and fifty left through um, the pro games. Tip number six is uh resembles a lot to tip number one, and it's gonna be to save your legend coins. So let's say I have 113 life uh, right now, which is um, quite a lot. But I could be spending my coins to buy these players, but there isn't one that I want in particular. And that's why you want to save uh, your coins, because it's hard to get them. And once a, a player that you'll need for your ultimate, let's say, or your final team, you want to have the coins to get him. Because let's say I buy a pack right here and I want Johnson Taze. I have a chance I only have one out of ten chance to, to get it to him. So let's say I'm very unlucky. I'll have to spend a hundred coins to get the card that I want. So a tip that I've received is that before entering a series that has a player that you want, make sure that you have a hundred coins before buying the uh, starting buying players because Let's say you only have 50 and you spend all 50 and don't get John Taze. You've wasted 50 coins and you don't even have the card that you want. And uh, yeah, save your coins. Tip number seven is also regarding legend coins. And it's going to be to spend your uh, legend coins wisely. Again, you don't want to spend your coins on the players that you're not going to use on your team or you're not going to use for legends. Uh, not legend ultimates let's say I, I buy these packs and i only get gary Suter, which is with calgary legend uh ultimate three i don't want him i've wasted 10 coins so you you gotta target the uh the players the limited edition players that you need for your ultimates and i haven't talked about the ultimates yet but basically ultimates you need depending on what tier you want First tier, you're only gonna need one ultimate, not ultimate, one legend, uh, one legend, yeah, that you get from getting to level 100, and then depending on the series, because there are series also in uh, legends, here you can see, you've got legend one to ten. You got you need one legend for each ultimate. You need one limited edition from. Uh, any limited edition series that was released so here you can see all the limited editions that were released in the past months and you also need an sp uh, spe uh, is it a special player i think that's what it is yeah special and th this player you get from the base series right here so gotta target the players that you want for your ultimate and also in this game having an ultimate goalie is like the most important thing from what i've heard it'll help you get more wins and get to through seasons quicker so when you see a ultimate one goalie in these limited edition releases you gotta target it. You gotta spend all of your, not all of your coins, but spend coins until you get it. So let's say last um, last release, it was uh, what is it? Um, yeah, postseason rush. There was a Tom Barrasso ultimate one that was included, and so I spent. Uh, I think I got it on a fifth or sixth try, so I've spent sixty legend coins on him but now i only need once i get to um to a legend 100 i'll only need his legend player and his sp card which i already have and i'll get his ultimate his ultimate player which is going to be very helpful once i get to legend and also players that you want to target in the, these limited edition uh, releases are any um ultimate ones ultimate one players like in this release it's jay boomister 
but I I won't try to get him because he's a St. Louis Blues, and I don't really see St. Louis Blues being on my end game team, and that's something you also want to target. You want to target teams that are um, that've been in the NHL for long, like let's say Montreal, Chicago, Detroit, all have good players on high tier uh, ultimates. Let's say Billy Vo Blake, uh, Chicago, Montreal, D- Detroit. All the, those are all teams that have a great end game potential, and for me, St. Louis doesn't have that potential, and it's also not a team that I like, so I won't be chasing these players. So basically, you chase tier one ultimate goalies, tier one players, and then players that you like, players that you want in your end game. Tip number seven is going to be target targeting uh, moments. So moments are uh, upgrades that you can have for uh, players. So let's say um, this one I got. I got a plus 10 overall to every card that I'm going to get for Tim Horton. So I don't think, no, I don't have a card of him. But once I get one of his card, it'll have a plus 10 bonus because of this uh, moment. In the recent upgrade uh, update of the game, they added a moment pack that you can get every four days and it's very important to get it because you get a free moment and there's a lot of them and it's random so you'll get any moment from any of these series and it's one legend coin so you once you get to legend and try to get ultimates you might get a moment that you need for your ultimate and also it's going to be important to not waste your legend coins on these moments Unless it's a player that you want, a player for your end game, or maybe a goalie. Again, it's like uh, the the players that you want to target in the limited editions. You also want to target their moment because you need one moment for their uh, ultimates. For the tier five, yep. For the tier fives, you'll need their. Uh, uh, one of their moments so if you want, if you see a player let's say I want uh, Zdeno Chara and I see his moment buy it because if you see it right here you in the three that you see it will be easier to get it because let's say he's in series uh, I don't know what series he is but let's say he's in this series I might have to spend 10 coins to get the one that I want just like the limited uh, players. Tip number nine is going to be uh, about showdown. So showdown is a, a new mode you unlock once you get to level 50. It's basically uh, a one match, 1v1 versus another player in the game. And there's a ranking. And depending on your ranking, you get showdown points or what they're called. And with these showdown points, you can either buy season tokens or players. So depending on your needs, if you're, uh, well, you're in starting the game. So getting these players might help. But if you see a player that you want in your end game, let's say Toe Blake. He's a, they're all tier 5 ultimates. So if you want him in your end game, it's going to be one limited edition player less that you'll have to get later. So if you need that player, buy it. But if let's say I there's P- Chris Pronger and I don't want him in my end game and I won't use him. It will be better to spend your legend coin and uh, uh, your showdown points on the season tokens. Because season tokens, they can uh, skip the timer, that the 16 hour timer that you have between every season so it will help you get uh, to the next level quicker and tip number 10 this might be dumb but it's simple it's to have fun uh this game is a simulation so even if you have a very very good team you might lose even if your team is better than, than the team you're playing you might lose and it might be frustrating i when i started playing i it was easy. I was getting wins there and I got most of my championships in the early stages of the game. But uh, now I'm not winning very often and 
it can be frustrating. Let's say you apply upgrades to your players, you put bonuses and everything, and then you lose. It can be frustrating, but that's the way the game is. It's made for you to spend the resources and everything on your team, but you're not going to win every season. So I've played 100 seasons. I've only made the playoffs 41% of the time, and I've only won the championships nine times. So you won't win every season. So just relax while playing the game. And it's only a game that you can play like 15, 20 minutes a day. You can't, you can't spend hours on a game because you got to wait for every season to end. And you can't, there's no way to get more cash or RP or re, um, trainings and so you can get a better team. Like it's not a game that you can grind. Some people try to go in the game and sprint through it and upgrade everything and try to get as much of a win as possible. It's, it's that's not a way the game is played. It's a, some people have said it's a, it's a more of a marathon. Yeah, that's the way I see it. Some people have been playing for like years and years, and they have a stacked team. But that that's the way to get a stacked team is to play and it's it's a very very slow game. You you can't uh sprint through it so that's it for the tips uh i really enjoy this game it's a game where you collect cards and sometimes uh, make upgrades to your team and uh i like it so i'll probably make it be making more videos on this uh game soon i'll uh post my progress if you're interested subscribe I'll post a video when I get to uh, Legend. Uh, I'll post videos when I get the new Ultimate and everything. So if you like that, uh, subscribe. Drop a comment. You could uh, leave uh, other tips that I haven't mentioned and you know. And maybe uh, it'll help someone out. And if there's a lot, I could make a second video uh, going through these comments and uh, explaining the other tips. That'll be great. So thank you all and uh, enjoy.